Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Penultimate Conquest podcast, where we talk about everything to do with the video games industry. I'm your host, Ruben, and today's co-hosts are Anthony. Hello. Eric. What's up? And my new friend, Frank. Hey, how's it going? It's going pretty good, guys. How's it going for everybody? Well, uh, I'm doing good. I've had a very lazy day, and so okay. preparing for I school to start back up for my me. Teeth. Oh no, <laughs> Eric! Come on, like we don't really need to know that, you know? <laughs> All right, that's okay. In case, you were, in case you were wondering why, like I'm moving my mouth so much, it's because I'm trying to get something. <laughs> I'm yeah. Stuck. Okay. So are you eating popcorn? That's usually the thing for me. Don't tell me how to live my life. <laughs> I, I wasn't telling you how to live your life. I was just asking if you were eating right. popcorn. That's probably what it was. Got it. Got it. We're good. Okay. All right. All right. Good. Um, somebody just pointed out to me uh, the other day that the Penultimate Conquest podcast, the letters are PCP. And quite <laughs> frankly, I'm totally okay with that. <laughs> Let's go. Um, so today's topic is going to be uh, it's two topics that are merging into one. Um, we're going to discuss uh, how we what we thought about Avengers. And we're also going to discuss the future of Marvel games. Now, Anthony, last we spoke, you said uh, that you were in the end game. Have you finished mm-hmm. it? Yeah. So I'm done with the campaign. I'm at the point where there's the, I don't know what you, the mission titles are so uh, nothing. They're just nothing. They're just titles. So I don't remember what it is, but the mission where uh, you start off with one character and then when that character dies, you get swapped out to your second and then your third. And then if your fourth one dies, you get kicked back to the start of the mission. That's where I'm at. And so I've got Miss Marvel is my strongest at 150. And then Iron Man's at like 144. And then I've got Widow up to 137. And then Captain America is at like 99. So once he's up to the point where he could participate in those missions, hopefully I'll be able to clear it. I've gotten pretty far with three of them. But then I get stuck with Cap and then it's just like he's too weak. <laughs> and then he gets screwed. <laughs> Oh my god, he got his sandwich this early. All right, here we go. <laughs> he asked you a question, isn't even here for the answer. All right, yeah. uh, so um, anyone got any good jokes? Oh, don't Not any I, I heard, can say on stream. I heard one. I don't know if you guys heard this. Okay, so do you know the zip code to Beverly Hills? No. 90210? 90210? Oh, I was yeah. about to say. All right, do you know the zip code for Dawson's Creek? You lost me there. It's no. going to be 90108. Because you know, 90108. No. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't take full credit for that. I saw that on the TikTok. So, I'm leaving. I'm but anyway, <laughs> Ruben missed That's great. it. So, we're not going to talk about it again. Nope. It's fine. Never. You'll, you'll see it when he comes back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, what's, what's, what's your sandwich? Uh, it's a chicken parm sandwich. A uh, chicken parm in New York <laughs> City. Yeah, it's my favorite kind of sandwich. You know, that's great. It is. It is one of. The, it's a top tier sandwich. S tier. Okay. Yeah. So I might say the only S tier sandwich. Okay, well, you know what? <laughs> okay, welcome to the sandwich podcast uh, where we talk yeah. about what S tier sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, Frank, what was I going to see when I come back? Oh no, no we we're Got talking nothing. about uh, something. Huh. Okay. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. He's gonna listen to it on the on the repeat. <laughs> yeah, I have to listen it. to it that when <laughs> I <laughs> edit it. So we'll see what happens. We'll see who I ban next off I'm, of this podcast. Oh, you already know who you're gonna ban. <laughs> so don't don't even. You already Just know removed. Who, who was the fault for this? Mm-hmm. And here I thought you said we could fill in time. Oh, I, mean, I did, did fill in time. <laughs> oh, you did. Okay. Right, I good. did fill in time. You're going to ban me for what I said, but I <laughs> well, did fill in time. It is what it is. You know, I can't really fault you for that. I'm, um, Who was the last person to go? I'm sorry, Anthony. I didn't really hear what you said. You weren't even here. You asked him a question. <laughs> you didn't even I hear know, what he had to say. Uh, again, I just said I apologize. Did I not? <laughs> but I'll listen to it when I'm doing some editing and we'll see what happens okay <laughs> so anyway, anthony thank you for that great answer <laughs> okay so answer. Answer. <laughs> yeah anthony that was a perfect answer i don't know <laughs> who could possibly top it no. um eric what did you think of the avengers game 
Oh, well, I've taken a break from it. Um, I have probably put uh, about maybe 50 hours into it already, probably, if I had to guess. Um, I have Miss Marvel at 150, and I think the others are, I don't know, in the 80s. It's because I play a bunch of other stuff, too. <laughs> like, it, there was, when I was ranking up Miss Marvel, that was like the only thing I was playing. Once I got her to 150, I was like, all right, I need to pump the brakes. I've been playing this a lot. Mm-hmm. So I think it's great. I, I like it more than I thought it was going to. And um, I'll probably get back into it hardcore when Hawkeyes come out. So uh, but it's great. I, if I had to give it a ranking, I'd give it like a solid seven, seven and a half mm-hmm. right now. Well, I think that's what everybody uh, pretty much like expected from this game. Um, with all the betas, I think, yeah, pretty much everybody just thought, yeah, it'll be a 7 out of 10. Great 7 yeah. out of 10. Mm-hmm. That's a solid 7 out of 10 right now. You had put something up yesterday about who won. We had did product- uh, predictions for the Metacritic score. Oh, that's right. I won. What was the score? I was the closest. Uh, it was 67. Oh, and you had 65. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ryan said he would buy me a pizza for the victory, so I'm holding oh, to that. Yep. Perfect. All right. Cool. Um, I finished the Avengers campaign, and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I tried to do um, a couple nights, I tried to do the online stuff, and mm-hmm. it was just like I could barely match up with anybody, so I um, it was kind of pointless for me to do it. Uh, but match made it all. I've been doing it completely solo. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. I haven't been bothered. Like, sometimes I'll go from selecting the mission to trying to hit launch as soon as possible. And some somehow, within that small window, someone will end up in my in my team. Hmm. Very oh. rarely. But outside of that, I don't bother. I just run with the, the computer. And it's been fun. Yeah, Oh, great. okay. Well, then I guess I'm going to have to try that again. Because I thought the whole thing of all mine was that you needed people. Nope. You don't need you them. The it's more solo. fun. But yeah. Mm. Especially like if you if you think about it, you're kind of just punching people. You don't you don't really need <laughs> That's <laughs> the problem I had with this game. Like it was super repetitive. Mm-hmm. Like all the levels were repetitive. All yeah. the, everything was repetitive. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I hope that they bring in some new components to the game like new levels yeah. new i don't think enemies but like just new stuff because yeah. i'm tired of going through the same hallways over mm-hmm. and over again and yeah. let me tell you about the launches of destiny one and two really. yes okay yes <laughs> okay go right ahead oh no it's just like they, they had the same problem they had a bunch mm-hmm. of repetitive stuff but they're in good places now all oh, destiny one is no more obviously. well De- Destiny was kind of different, no? Didn't and, it had yeah. similar stuff, but it wasn't all like the same level. I mean, if we have to look at it as like strictly as a game's service, yeah, which these two are, they're mm-hmm. looters. So, um, but I, I think Avengers has a solid foundation to build upon because um, I like the combat. The combat's fun. Mm-hmm. Combat is fun. Um, I expected to main um, Cap, mm-hmm. but like Iron Man is the guy to go with, you know. Like I love using the, um, you know how Iron Man has like the three, the lasers, the repulsors, yeah. and the missiles. Mm-hmm. Missiles all the way, baby. Missiles me too, all me day. Too, me too. It's just, just dropping people. Yeah, and while I wish. The flight mechanics were as good as they were in Anthem. It's still pretty good. Yeah. Which, yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. You could do your barrel rolls. You could do your, I don't know what you call it, where you hover, I guess. That'd be the best way to kind of describe it. Yeah. And so I, I like when playing Iron Man that, like, you're getting the lock odd from your enemies. And so I always cheese it and I, I do the hover thing. So I drop just enough and then hover and then just shoot them with the rockets. And it's so cool to just be able to do that. Because I remember when I got my PS3, one yeah. of the first things I picked up along with it was the Iron Man video game. <laughs> oh, no. Along with the movie. Because that's where I was at. 
okay. uh, middle school. Oh, God. That's I remember a, that game. That's what I was doing. I didn't play that game at all. That was a bad game. Yeah. Good. Yeah, but I you didn't expect it. It's, <laughs> a game. it's a game based off of a movie, and they're always bad. So this is like a year mm-hmm. before. Spider-Man 2. A year before Arkham Asylum came out and changed mm-hmm. how we do licensed games. So, yeah. Um, yeah, Iron Man, I think Iron Man in the beginning, I didn't really enjoy, but the more upgraded you get him, the yeah. more fun he is to play. Yep. Like, starting level Iron Man, I did not like at all. No. He was born to play as, I but once you, like, it. level up everything, oh, man, so much fun. Who did you, who did you guys think was the best character? Like, uh, to, game, to fight gameplay with. or thematically? Gameplay. <laughs> I'm having so much fun with Thor. <laughs> Like Thor and Miss Marvel are my top two favorite characters to play as. Miss Marvel, I think, is the worst person to play as. Oh mm. man, but she will always be on my team because of her support abilities. Yeah. I usually main uh, Iron Man or Scarlet Witch. No, not Scarlet Witch or Black Scarlet Widow. Witch. You got a <laughs> different Witch build from us. Yeah, <laughs> I did. I'm sorry, guys. I just leaked that I have an Ultimate so. Conquest. Getting the yeah. stuff already. Uh, getting the scoops. Yeah, mm-hmm. but just broke embargo. <laughs> um, uh, what else do we want to talk about this? <laughs> All right, we're already one, I, five I think, minutes. I can't say what do we do now? Uh, Go right ahead, um, Frank. So there's a big reason why I haven't bought this game. It's not because it looks boring. It's not <laughs> because of the characters. I ev- you could even look at Square Enix's past and say like you know it's not even because of that. It's honestly <laughs> because of the model of game it is going back to destiny destiny it feels very much like destiny year one and i was there for destiny year one i'm gonna and, um, stop you right there frank there's one rule on this podcast we don't shit the great square enix okay, oh, okay. we don't shit on the great square enix okay? <laughs> oh, yeah who does with that? their caked up hearts and all of that <laughs> yeah we don't I shit on the great I square. On one square enix game and i am square? blacklisted from yeah, exactly this. pretty oh, square. really oh okay well square enix makes the best games 100 all of them. <laughs> thank you all, all right of them, 10 out of 10 game of the year is easy yeah exactly all right <laughs> continue i'm sorry so destiny destiny very very much it was at its first like get-go um a very short story 10 hours long maybe maybe yep. even shorter than that depending on how you play and then like hours and hours and hours of grinding with no real like end game in sight yet until <laughs> it hits it hit taken king and then once taken king hit you had content after content after content i'm waiting for that taken king moment for yep. for avengers where it's everything is already like balanced everything's already ready to go the the game's just really well like thought out in terms of a long term instead of like ship it now we'll work on the rest later yeah i'm gonna have to agree with that i should have waited for this game to be like complete i think once they have more characters which would suck like i don't think the characters were going to be in the main game like campaign um but once you have all the characters out i think after that they'll probably do like a big oh here's the second big boss you know and give you a little mini campaign just to see like well like each new character is gonna have like a little mini new campaign when they come mm-hmm. in like, well i'm thinking like uh, another 10 hour campaign oh uh, well yeah. i can see them doing oh, yeah i can see them doing that yeah for uh i think you said you didn't do the online components of it and so when I was going through trying to get to the 150 with uh, Miss Marvel, the there are character specific missions, and so something like Thor, it's where they start to kind of tee up Loki in this kind of universe, and mm-hmm. so they can kind of do those sorts of stories as they go. Maybe not have to be as big budget, but they can do the because a lot of it's talking anyway, mm-hmm. and so I'm uh, I'm excited for them to do a lot of those smaller things because it helps kind of build up those characters and build out that world. And uh, for me, with something like Miss Marvel, I'm a big fan of her comics. And a lot of that was not actually brought into this game because it was more focused on the Avengers side of it. Yeah. And so you would hope that as they go on, because they have to have fine things to talk about, they have enough characters on their own to do stories with each of them. And so it start kind of branching out with Miss Marvel going her own way and all that sort of stuff. Hopefully, it'll all be fine. What scares me is that they'll bring in too many characters. Yeah. Because they said that how many characters are they going to have post-launch? 
there's the two Hawkeyes, and then we don't Spider-Man, really know after that. Well, yeah, and Black Panther are the ones we know about right now. Yeah. Okay. I feel like it's going to get too bloated mm-hmm. when they release all the characters. Well, you know, when eventually we get the last character that they bring in. It, I feel like it's going to be too bloated for everybody to be... Let's say PS5 is out and, oh, shit, they just dropped Spider-Man. I know Spider-Man's coming out in March, but, oh, shit, they just dropped Spider-Man. But I still have four other people that I have to uh, bring all the way up to 150. By the way, I don't know what people are talking about when they're saying they're bringing in their character up to 150. Mm-hmm. We'll explain that in a moment. Okay, yeah. Ruben. Okay. Um, yeah, I just... My fear is that this game is going to get too bloated with characters. Well, I and, mean, that's what the Marvel Universe is. It's bloated with characters. Yeah, but they all, like... Uh, how do I put this? Because this is supposed to I be, like, a mean. year, years-long thing. <laughs> like, this yeah. game's going to be around for a long time. Like, yeah. it would make sense if you if you want to have... Shit, Cowboys just scored. Uh, if you want to have... <laughs> There's no sports in this podcast. Come on, if you together. want to have a like a long shelf life for this game, like, throw in everything. Like, in two years, uh, let's see, what would it be, 2022? Throw in Doctor Strange. Like, yeah. put in Doctor Strange when Multiverse of Madness comes out. Like, have that's... Events? Yeah, that way you don't that. have... Yeah, that way you don't have to, you know... I don't know, make a Doctor Strange game. I'm sure we'll get into more Marvel game stuff later, but like you can put Doctor Strange in Avengers. Mm. And it's like, oh, here's your tie-in or something like that. Because, I mean, Fortnite does it all the time. <laughs> yeah. Fortnite, yeah, I mean, they, granted, Fortnite Epic is. has way more money than Square. Um, but um, that's how you do it. So I would, I would love for this game to be fucking crazy. Like, at the end of the shelf life, let's have at least, like, 25 different Marvel characters to pick from. And this is also like a good way for them to start to test bed. Like how would this character play in terms of a video game? This is kind of where they can kind of start rolling those out. And so Spider-Man, he's had games for years, perfectly fine. How you play Spider-Man, but everyone else kind of start figuring out how to do all these different types of characters. Cause there are a lot of stories in Marvel (laughs) comics that aren't Spider-Man and Avengers and X-Men. And so there's a lot of things they could do beyond this game, but that kind of starts here. Wolverine would be perfect for this game, by the way. Nova or bust. Okay. Nova. Okay. Yeah. Uh, All right. I'm a big Nova. Fan. Nova no, fan. Uh, there's nothing wrong with Nova. Nova's a cool character. Yeah. I just wish that he was the first person that they brought. I mean, that he's would not be a bit of a, a bit Is somebody of somebody being raided? Who's being raided? It sounded like somebody was knocking down the door. <laughs> yeah, I know. It wasn't me. I'll tell you that. <laughs> uh, there okay. was construction right, in my house. right now, guys. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll be okay. with you in one stack, officers. All right. Okay. But I can I definitely, see, sure. I can definitely mm-hmm. see what you mean by, like, the it being ble- being too bloated, though. Mm-hmm. Like, even, like, the game... Like, it would work better if, that, if this game was an MMO, if you're yeah. having that many characters. But, like, even, like, games that do, like, the same type but similar model where they have, like, these weeklies and stuff like that, mm-hmm. uh, there a lot of the times there's a very small amount of characters. Like, usually three, four, or five. Yeah. And that's a little bit more manageable to do when, you know, you're doing, like, every week trying to get these characters up to, like, 150 or whatever level you're trying to get them to. That, that caps out for that week, at least. Yeah. Um, but, like... Uh, We've talked about games as a service on the show before, and I guess this isn't my type of thing. Mm-hmm. I, I just don't see me coming back, oh, four years later, playing this game again. With all the characters coming out, and oh, there's new DLC drops. I'm good, you know? I'm in here for the story. And it was, it, was it a $60 experience for the story? Maybe. I don't know about 60 bucks, but I probably would have paid 40. Oh, yeah, I agree. 40 is probably the better price for this game. Yeah. Um, well, I think this wh- game's going to have its Taken King moment. Mm. I definitely think. Oh, yeah, yeah. I hope it does because this- they've definitely seen all the problems that they've had. Like, they, I've had so many freaking patch note updates from this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There are a bunch of problems, which I'm sure we'll get into. Um, number one problem, 
Why can't Cap open those doors, you know? Like what those doors? breakable doors? He can do that now. Yeah, they, they fixed that. When was the last well, time he can. played? He you know, it forever. I mean, he just said, well, he, he said it's... he didn't play into the outline, and that's where a lot of that would come in, where you would see yeah, those was, sorts of changes. Annoying. And so, yeah. Especially from like a solo yeah. person, like <laughs> especially those doors that you can only hack into with Tony or Black or Widow. Widow. Mm-hmm. It's one of those things where mm-hmm. just let me freaking switch characters. Yeah, Marvel like, Ultimate Alliance. It's not even that, or right. just yeah. But if instead of switching characters, team, you just can, let me. Like, hey, go do that. Yeah. Them. Exactly. But it is what it is. Um, you wanted to tell me about the 150. Oh, the power. Level. Oh. The power uh, level, I guess. Anthony, I'll let you. Oh, uh, all right. Since I'm looking at the screen, like you're on my right. left. So. Thank you. Uh, oh, so really? when you Sweet. yeah when when you play this game, uh, for, I'll start with campaign because you played through that. You get to decide your difficulty at the start. I put it on the hardest one to see how it would go, and thank God for being able to power level your people. Because mm-hmm. when you start it in the campaign, the the characters are all level one whenever you get them in the story point. Uh, but all the all the combatants still do a bunch of damage. And so you're like, okay, I've got this gear, and I could power it up through this, and then make my way through. Um, but when I did that with campaign, it helped me kind of learn, for example, like Black Widow's, I don't know what you call it, her dodge kind of mechanic, where you yeah. you grapple and weave and bob and all that. So it helped me learn like those sorts of things, and so that was helpful. But as you go through power is important in that way where you're dealing more damage and you're being able to take less damage depending on how you have your character built and all that. Um, and so it helps as you're progressing through to be able to survive. But you get to a point where everything's kind of just fine unless you go into your missions when you're in like the online section. Those missions, all of the missions have difficulty as well. And so yeah. unless you're forcing yourself into something harder than you should be, you're kind of fine. And so it's, it's uh, up to you how hard it is outside of the campaign. Okay. Um, I also I wanted to bring up the uh, character missions that they had mm-hmm. where you could unlock skins. I've mm-hmm. only done one character miss- mission for each person. Mm-hmm. And I thought it was supposed to be more than one. There's it, should be like, it should be like a, a quest chain. Yeah. So yeah. Once, you're do- once you're done with one, it's going to have something else for you to do. They like, haven't popped up on my map. Go to your objectives. It's okay. like sometimes it'll be like Captain America do this first mission and then you go into the quest chain. Now it's like beat the crap out of a hundred people or something uh-huh. like that. Uh-huh. So you have yeah. to go into your objectives and figure out from there what to do. Yeah. Like you have to do work. a little bit of work. I don't know, <laughs> maybe hit the touchpad and then hit L one. <laughs> and I think I think I think you no, can I'm do saying, it. I believe in you. It just sounds like a lot of work. I would have to boot up the game and Oh uh, yeah. Oh you oh, that's right. Yeah. But uh, um for those the uh the, when you're in the early game, because I'm sitting here thinking about endgame stuff, I gotta put myself back kind of where you are, Ruben, at the start of it. The no, objective I'm done. menu. Well, I mean, I'm done with the, the campaign. campaign. Yeah. yeah, and so then you get into the other section of it. The objective menu tries to kind of weave you through what is essentially the the story for afterwards, which doesn't really work because they have the daily missions, and so. Yeah. They have their their dialogues where you find out, oh, they're cloning all the bad guys. That's where you find them. And so I was like, oh, that's nice that they thought about this and they put in the dialogue and they were kind of trying to do story. But it was kind of ruined by the fact that like I fought Abomination like seven times this week. So. Oh, my God. So I, I will give them that. Like they thematically mm-hmm. figured out how to they yeah. worked out how to, you know, word it to where like in Destiny, it's just do this fucking mission 20,000 times. Or is this one's like, hey, they made a clone of Abomination. Oh, okay. This makes sense mm-hmm. why I'm fighting him 20 times. Mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, they have to add a lot more stuff because I remember when you go into the Codex and you can see bosses, like that mm-hmm. have the stuff for all the bosses. I'm like, ooh, there's six bosses. All right, what are we going to got? We got Taskmaster. I know we got Abomination. Who else we're going to have? We're going to have, uh, I don't know, freaking... Red Skull or something, just to name anything. Mm-hmm. It was like, nope, one of the bosses is just a giant robot. I oh, saw that, and I was neat. Just thrown off. Like, why would you put that as a as a main boss? Yeah, they started. I remember when they were marketing the game, like, oh, we have so many Marvel <laughs> villains for you to fight. Like, who, 
Holy what did you have? A bunch of aim bots. <laughs> and I know when I did this, I don't know the exact time in the other episode, I said the one thing I want them to figure out to do is to have enemy variety. Yeah. And they don't. No. Like, it literally is just, here's robots, here's some um, beekeepers mm -hmm. from AIM, but one's wearing a purple suit instead of a yellow suit. And then you what? have, what, uh, Taskmaster's militia guys, and that's mm -hmm. it. And it's just, I definitely need more. Like, have me, yeah. yeah. From uh, so for me, uh, when I finished up the campaign, I went right into trying to get to the end game, and I've gotten there now. And so, I took it. I've taken a break, and I went and played Doom, the like 2016 reboot. In mm. comparison to this, I could see one of the best from, games ever made. Yeah, oh yeah, easy. Uh, when uh, I could see from I, a gameplay I, perspective I, how I they were trying to have like a different enemy variety in terms of like a, a combat scenario. And so I see what they're trying to do, but I don't think there's enough variety to make it work within mm -hmm. the context of this because you kind of just run into the same things on a loop. Mm -hmm. It's just a small variety from a militia to the robots and the, the, the yellow suit people. And so if they had more gameplay variety in terms of what the enemies do to you and how you have to deal with them, it could work if you can mix and match, kind of like Doom did, where there wasn't a ton of different types of enemies, but there was enough variety that as you went through each fight it was fun and you problem solving and all that sort of stuff that doesn't really happen as much in this game as i was hoping uh yeah can we talk about how much bullshit the adaptoids are fuck those the ones, guys the ones that weave and bob not even the ones that weave and bob just the ones like there's one on fire there's one that yeah. this isn't fucking avatar you can't. Yeah, who wants, who wants to do anything avatar related anyway yeah. i mean i would love to do something avatar related, uh, but like uh -huh. Mm. you know like come on you could do better than that I, I, I see what you mean like uh, it's just was once you level up all your people and they can do different stuff where it's <laughs> uh, you can do more shield damage or whatever like when I would just hit triangle with uh, Thor just bring yeah. the hammer down and just their shields would just like go down just like that <laughs> oh, um, okay. and uh I think I guess. Do we want to talk about the campaign, like story-wise, like spoiler stuff? Oh, I I know everything on this campaign already. I've watched gameplay out. Like, like what? The first spoiler: Captain America is actually alive. What? Are you, yeah. dude, how? What? Crazy! It's crazy. Oh my god! I gotta buy this game right now. It turns out he actually okay. never died. Yeah, they kept him in a fucking satellite the whole time. <laughs> Which is kind I, of badass. I will say, like, Miss Marvel is so wholesome and wonderful, mm -hmm. and she is so great. And the actress who plays her deserves, like, all the awards. She did mm -hmm. such a phenomenal job with this. Um, I, I think uh, it was nice to have... Because I, I remember in 2012, Avengers, like, when we started, you know, Tony... Thor and stuff are all bickering, but it was nice to actually see them like Bruce and Tony actually like hate each other yeah. in this game. Like it was nice that Bruce was like trying to keep his cool, but the one moment where Tony just mouths off too much, he hulks out and throws them out the helicarrier. I, I love that. That was fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those like realistic moments of like a team. Because there's yeah. no team's perfect. You're gonna have those fights and yeah. yep. showing that's always the best part. Um but yeah, I thought there were a lot of cool story beats in this game. Um, it, it was weird. It's kind of like what Destiny had it. When you're doing a games of service, you can't do it like a typical campaign. Like mm -hmm. I had to go to the war table and access missions this way. And I had to, you know, all right, you're starting the mission now. And there was no like real organic flow with the story. Because you had to come out every now and then, go in the Quinjet and fly to the new area. And... Um, like the story missions themselves weren't really different. What makes it all different was just the dialogue after, mm -hmm. yeah. which was nice. Um, but uh, I thought the campaign was great. Like I really dug it. It was a it was a nice story. Um, it was nice to play this game and watch the boys at the same time. <laughs> like different like sides of the same coin for superhero yeah. stuff. Where I have like the hopeful, 
inspiring message of Avengers, like teaming up and like just being the Avengers, whereas the boys, I'm like man superheroes may not be a good idea <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man it's a little scary yeah. um, but i think i think they did a good job like um the one thing i just don't like i don't like cap's helmet in this game oh, like, if we can talk about if we can it talk about character design like look at. everything about everything else about cap's design is fine like i have no problem with like the fucking uh football shoulder pad look of his suit but it's just it's the ears it's the ears part. It sticks out. Oh. It pisses me off. Now, granted, they did kind of fix it with the Stark version of his armor. It's much more robotic and stuff, and I thought that was cool. But, I don't oh, like man. That at all. Um, what are our favorite suits, uh, costumes in the game? Oh, my favorite one for. Uh, I've just booted up the game. My favorite for Iron Man was the Star Boost armor. That just looks so fucking sick. Like the one who we went to space? Yep. Okay. Let me, let me uh, put it on the screen. Oh. I did enjoy how before the mission, Kamala says, hey, I put some music on for you, and Iron Man blasts to space <laughs> with Iron Maiden. I was like, hell yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> and um, you hear Spider-Man in the back saying, I love Led Zeppelin. <laughs> you know? It's, it's a Spider-Man reference. You, you tried. <laughs> maybe in the next, maybe in the uh, cross-media episode you could talk yeah. about. Yeah. <laughs> <Well, laughs> <well, laughs> Uh, but no, uh, my favorite is the metal head for Thor, where he's just in jeans and like a metal t-shirt. It's great. I love it so oh. much. <laughs> um, there was no really like good thing for Cap, which was kind of upsetting. Uh, the Super Soldier one was fun. Um, I really liked the Super Soldier one. It was like, oh, this is kind of like the stealth suit in Winter Soldier. <laughs> Oh, I hate that you can't change characters while you're at the uh, yep. war table. Super yep. annoying. I it's mean, all you got to do is just go back in the room of the helicarrier, and there's that room where you can change characters. What or part? you start... Yeah. Are you so on you the can... helicarrier? I am on the helicarrier right, right. now. I'm at the Are war you on the war table? table? Yeah. All right, turn around. Okay. Go straight through the doors, the big doors. <laughs> all right. Do you see another war table looking thing there? Yeah. Oh, there. well, there's always a person next to it. It's okay. This is the stupidest thing in the world. <laughs> what happens when you stop playing the game after day three, yeah. Ruben? It was actually Alternat three weeks after. So. <laughs> three weeks. Three weeks. Al alternatively, you go to the war table, pick whatever mission you want to do, and then switch characters when it's loading. That's such a pain or, in the ass, though. Is it, though? Like, you got to switch at some point. I, I, I'm fine switching while I wait for the mission to load. In that little menu while you're waiting for potential squad ups, which are never going to happen. Yeah, <laughs> never going to happen. They also, I hate that I have to go all the way in the back of the damn helicarrier to go see that faction yes. dude. Oh, it's yes. so freaking annoying. Just put them all in the same room with the world. At least, like with mm -hmm. Destiny on the tower, I can freaking sprint yeah. everywhere. Yeah, over it's, things, do some parkour. Yeah. I can purple ball, but in this game, it's like. <laughs> purple let, ball. Let, let me just. Hey guys, yeah, I'll be right man. there in a second. I'm Hold on, don't go anywhere. Very briskly, you know. <laughs> yeah. Remember soccer then, in Destiny? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was oh, a great time. That was a great time. Great time. Like, and then freaking Iron Man, his running animation is so freaking weird. Yeah. Is it? I kind of want to see this. It, like his <laughs> when he because he's just like in the suit, which is is fine because like in the MCU, you don't see really you don't really see Tony run around in the suit. So I get it would probably look weird if you're in a giant exoskeleton running around. Um, yeah. But uh, I think one big thing problem I have with this game is performance. Mm, like yeah. sometimes this game just chugs. No, um, that's another reason but, why I haven't played it. So hopefully the PS5 version is going to you know be better yeah. performance because. I'm not going to do it on PC because no Spider-Man. And I hear there's less than 1,000 concurrent players playing it right now on Steam. Mm. So, that's the problem. Yeah. Because nobody they, has a good, uh, good enough rig. Optimized. It. It's very poorly optimized on PC from what I hear. Uh, yeah. yeah. And there's no crossplay. Yeah. Like, that's, that's a problem because Modern Warfare is still going strong. Yeah. About a that's year right. into it now because of crossplay. Yeah. How do you launch a um, game like that in 2020 and not have crossplay? Really? Well, I think they want they were really focused on cross generational. Oh, okay. Yeah, 
Which, I mean, I know PS5 and PS4 players will be able to play together, so I guess yeah. that's a step mm-hmm. in the right direction. They should have just waited until PS5 was out, you know. God, remember mm-hmm. the whole... Two, was it 2017? The whole, like, Sony was the last one to want to do crossplay with Fortnite? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Well, look at us now. Yeah, well, look at us now. We have, what, six high games chair. we can play crossplay now. <laughs> I read... Well, I don't care about the crossplay games. I read on IGN the other day... 75% people that have pre-ordered a next generation console have pre-ordered the PS5. Uh, that, uh, that's it's a small small pool of people they could talk to and all that so it won't scale properly. But, yeah, and I mean like yeah. IGN, I know a lot of people lean PlayStation like in the comment section and stuff. So mm. it could be biased, Ruben. Yeah. You have to look at it unbiased. Oh so has everyone here got their PS5 pre Do I want to burn my house down with the... <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, yes I did. Yeah. Do I want to burn my house down with the Xbox Series X? I hear it's hot. Question? I hear it's quite, It's so hot yeah. right now. I also yeah. hear that it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so. well, there's a Linus Tech Tips video that does a really good, like, t- like, yeah. like showing you really? working and everything. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. right side by okay. side next to another Xbox, too. Like, the older one. Just to show you, like... How fast the loading, loading speed? Oh, hot. Oh, no, okay. not how hot. But yeah, I think one of the big problems with this hot. game is, like you're right, Ruben, is re- repetition. Because I know they added, like the main areas you do are freaking Seattle area, Utah, and the Eastern Seaboard. I know they teased me with the whole going to Scandinavia area, but it's only for like yeah. two missions. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm-hmm. And then there's the oh yeah, sorry, we got the tundra area too. But I want mm-hmm. more variety with that. That'd be kind of neat you know bring us to space let's do stuff on space satellites and stuff yeah um but like i said i think it's a good solid foundation right now to build on yeah. because yeah. it is fun to play it's it very much is fun to play it's not the best most fun superhero game to play but it works for a game like this having it be kind of streets are ragey if i had to guess where it's just <laughs> beat the crap out of people yep um which i'm fine with I wish there was like some more synergy with um, oh, teammates fighting. You know, mm-hmm. the only good thing about Ultimate Alliance Two was how you could synergize powers together. Mm-hmm. Um, so maybe something like that. Like maybe give me fastball special where Hulk throws Captain America at people. Mm-hmm. Like that would be nice. That would be nice. It's like the only assist thing you can do right now is if you're doing giant ass takedowns on the dreadbots. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, which, which are cool. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, I think Crystal Dynamics, uh, this is their first time doing something like this. I think they did a, a good job. Like, I hope they just see feedback, and I hope people... I know a lot of people were like dicks on the internet about it. Like, yeah. it, it could be. it's good to be constructive. Like, I do see this game being uh, a big hit down the line because it is the Avengers, the most popular IP on the planet right now, like, bar none. Um, yep. Like, that opening mission when you're young Kamala on the helicarrier just made me happy. Like, I mm-hmm. had a smile on my face the whole damn time. Um, especially good. when she, like, checks that white boy fan, quote-unquote. <laughs> that, that was the best moment of the game. Like, that was a that very moment. weird moment, but I guess I kind of get what they were going Because, like, when I saw Cap like come up out of the, uh, the side of the screen, I got so happy. I was like, "Oh my god!" Ah! <laughs> so it was nice. Um, I also I wish they would have more banter in it because I know the yeah. only banter we get right now is in like the elevators, really, and sometimes it just repeats so many times. Like, I, I don't pay attention to him, but apparently there was one time where, like, Natasha starts talking about her time in the Red Room. I was like, wait, what was that? What was that? I missed that. <laughs> Say that one more time. Um, so, yeah. Um, I am okay with the $70 I paid on this game because I put 50 hours into it. I've had a blast, and I know that in the future it's going to be great. Well, speaking of future... Let's talk the future of Marvel games. Thanks for the setup, mm-hmm. Eric. I really appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Ah. Future. Um, 
Let's start Let's off. Let's get Frank some talking time since he's I was quiet. Just gonna say, I mean, yeah. I'm just like I'm just like sitting here like listening to listening about this game. You know, it, it's nice to hear other people talk about it. You yeah, know what I mean, uh, you hear a lot of like negative and a lot of positive, and just getting a sense of just you know what other people think is definitely like helping. I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna eventually pick this game up. Well, we hope we, you know, see you the right way. The yeah. best time to pick this game up will definitely be when Spider Man comes out. Oh yeah, probably. Because that's yeah. like six months post launch. They'll probably figure out some stuff by then. And uh, boy, I can't wait for that Spider Man reveal to see what he's going to mm. look like. That's probably going to be the most talked about thing on the internet that day. Yeah. Definitely. Like what his character design is going to be. They should yeah, just no. thrown in the PS4 Spider Man. Yeah, there was that rumor that they changed it because of that. But yeah, I heard I heard that also. And I, I will lose my that. shit. I, I will don't lose think my so. shit if he looks like Peter that way. Uh-huh. No, not, not even, I don't even hope that they show Peter. I just hope that they show, like, just keep him in the suit. You no, know. the advanced suit. Yeah. That'd be really cool. Best Spider-Man suit it is. recently. It's a I really love the advanced suit. suit. I, like, really I know we, we got all the extra fun suits in Spider-Man, but I was like, I'm good. I just want to <laughs> wear the advanced suit the whole time. Yep. Okay, so Frank, what do you think of the future of Marvel games? What do you think we're going to be seeing? I think the the next big thing, honestly, uh, in terms of games, I think uh, X Men personally is going to be the next big push in terms of what Marvel's going with. Especially if you look at the movies, the movies are building up towards like the probably the X Men probably coming in, yeah. and it would be a great time to tie those into the movies, tie those into like you know into the games and. I think the first one up would probably be a Wolverine game. Okay. Like a really cool, like, stealthy Arkham-like Wolverine game. Huh. Interesting. (laughs) That face. (laughs) No, it's... uh, I didn't think when you said Wolverine, I didn't think of stealth. So it's... Because, like, if if they had a really cool game back in the day. um, Yes, they did. X2 Wolverine's Revenge. It wasn't the best game in the world. But it had a cool stealth mechanic where you can like sneak up on people they even had like a part where you're even dressed up as other people just to kind of like walk around and pretend you're them but then you can pull out the claws and like show them that you're actually just wolverine okay um i want something like that but like really modern and really well done and not voiced by mark hamill uh wolverine voiced by mark hamill is a weird really? thing yes he, wolverine was voiced by mark hamill in that game he did a good job it's just so weird to hear his voice coming out of that character. I'm, I'm just picturing like Wolverine walking in like a trench coat and hat, and you're thinking, "Hey, Bob, what's going on? Are you ready for the party?" Just, oh my God, it's Wolverine. <laughs> Preferably, uh, Steve Bloom voicing him would be like my 100 percent. Like that would be my Wolverine game. When what I read Wolverine in comics, I, that's that's what I have. Like Cowboy, have you ever heard a, a Spike from Cowboy Bebop? Yeah. Uh, Tom from Toonami. Yeah. Oh, that, okay. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's, he's voiced oh, him before. Good. He's voiced him before. X Men okay. Evolution, I think, was his. Was that his first cartoon as Wolverine? Um, it might have been. Uh, but I know to he definitely did voice him there. To the internet we go. Now, who do you think would be doing this Wolverine game? Give me a studio. Mm. That uh, that's a harder one. Um, I would love for like. See, the problem oh, yeah. with Microsoft picking up the, all these studios is, like, some of those studios I would have really loved. To well, let's just, let's just believe, make believe that it never happened. Wolverine the X-Men appears to be the first time that Steve Bloom voiced Wolverine. I could have swore he was in X-Men Evolution, which was a great cartoon. Mm-hmm. Was um, it then? <laughs> I've yes. seen Capcom give love to marvel characters before in like i know i know people look at the new marvel vs. capcom and just look at it and go uh, everything looks terrible but if you look at like marvel vs. capcom 3 they put a lot of love into those characters and then even into their lore mm-hmm. i would give them another chance at something like that okay now you said uh stealth and i immediately thought of kojima mm, that would be a cool one uh, yeah. just, can you imagine what kojima would do with the Marvel, Marvel lore, yeah, <laughs> just Marvel lore. Like the man thinks of shit himself. So, just I would love to see a Marvel Kojima universe. Yeah, well, not Wolverine even Marvel. Could be Kojima. Super political. 
no, no, no. We're not no the about... Weapon X project. You could yeah. totally do yeah. that. You could have some government shit with that. Oh. They could make it like like MK Ultra like levels of like conspiracy and stuff like that. Again, I'm sorry, guys. I probably shouldn't have said that. I just think yeah. I broke embargo. No, <laughs> yeah. the Marvel. So I think. Uh, the did you guys play the X Men Origins Wolverine game? Like yes. the only yes. good thing to come out mm -hmm. of that movie was that game. Yes. Oh, very great game. Which is why I think of the combat of that game, but like, like a little bit more stealth. I think like if you if you can't do like Kojima, like I think you have to do Wolverine as like a Devil May Cry thing. Like he has to be like fucking crazy combos off the wall. I like thing. it. Yeah. Or even like, like God of War or Castlevania. Yeah, you know what I mean those are other like great like like just hordes of enemies hitting you and then you just like come at them with everything you got. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I mean obviously Wolverine is right up there with most popular Marvel characters, so it makes sense to have something Wolverine related. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Frank? Um, honestly, for for the most part, I would like more. I, I was thinking about more of like. Uh, Avengers, like you know how the game's structured for for player co-op and stuff like that, but like villains, because Marvel's got a lot of insanely Ooh. great villains, and a lot of the times they're just getting beat up. And if Rocksteady has shown anybody anything, it's that we can do a game with villains too and make it perfectly like stylish. And if you if you watch media nowadays, like Joker, it was a big hit. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> Suicide Squad, as much as I hate the movie, was a big hit. Um, <sighs> like villains are cool, and we only stand Suicide Squad on this podcast. <laughs> yeah. Only no. Suicide Squad. No, that's the worst movie. Uh, what are we? Stand. Some kind of Suicide Squad? <laughs> suicide oh Squad. God. Those movies are terrible. But that man looked like a crocodile. Popular. That man looked like a crocodile. <laughs> just saying. That's why they won the Oscar. Because that man looked like uh -huh. an Oscar-winning film. Suicide <laughs> For story purposes, one. Just because they needed to go underwater. That's it. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, man. You look like a crocodile. <laughs> and that's what irked me the most. Killer Croc Is that he like looked a like a crocodile? No, <laughs> that he was just there to go swimming. Who else is going to swim, Ruben? Literally. They, you want Fireman to go swimming? It's they have water. a crocodile for a reason. Yeah, uh, again, guys, like, <laughs> but just like throw him literally anything else. Give yeah. him a love interest story, you know? Don't just Ooh, kill a croc? Yeah. yeah, I don't think Killer really Croc can love anybody anymore. Yeah. I mean, I would have liked it if he was twenty feet tall, like he is normally. But that's uh, did you imagine a twenty him? foot tall person? Oh God! I mean, I Hulk is what? How, how tall is Hulk? Hulk is twelve feet tall. Twelve feet. Okay. Tall. Jesus Christ! Yeah, but twenty feet tall—that's insane. That is a big ass water jug right there. <laughs> Is that the third ounce? How many yeah. ounces that thing hold? <laughs> this? Oh, this right here. Oh, this is my forty ouncer. Ooh. I just keep. I don't. I don't like to get up as much as I need to. So it's just like forty ounces of water at, on tap. This man is over here drinking pure vodka. Pure vodka. Drinking, drink pure two vodka. of those, and you're good for a day. Just forty ounces of vodka every day. Put I, a little I mean, maybe not that. Sometimes. Yeah, forty <laughs> ounces of vodka every day. Yeah, easy, easy. Huh. Yeah. Um, Anthony. What's your uh, feature Marvel's game? Marvel game. For for me, I always like um, the flight mechanics of like something like when uh, like pilot wings and that sort of stuff. I think Falcon could do something pretty interesting because you have the third person shooting because he uses guns anyway. So you have that. If they get up close, you could do the the combat sparring. But then to have it to where you can kind of go in between from fighting people on the ground up into the air, shooting, all that stuff, sort of stuff, kind of like Anthem. Uh, I think that'd be pretty fun. And he got his spotlight as Captain America, and so there's there's plenty of story now with that character that you could do things, particularly since they're going in that direction with the movies. Um, they gotta start spotlighting him more, because uh, that's the way Kevin Feige's going. Kevin Feige, all hell, Kevin Feige. I need oh, Captain, Feige. I need Falcon and Winter Soldier right now. The like, show? I, I need that so bad. I need something Marvel related. I need anything, man. It's I need that fix. It's crazy, like, because we're building up now. Everyone's saying, like, can you believe it's been a year almost since a Marvel film? Like, that's fucking great. Like, it allows everyone, yeah. like, a rest after yeah. Endgame. Yeah. 
and especially now it's like, after and like yeah mm, it's a perfect spot for them to give <laughs> like us a, a rest. big old rest like the yeah. next fucking thing we're gonna get is yeah. wandavision tearing open the multiverse but i digress mm-hmm. i can't wait for that you can't wait for that show either. that show's gonna be awesome mm-hmm. that show's gonna be yeah. so fucking insane yeah it's crazy that the amount of views that that trailer got when it came out because that ri- the amount of views rivals what they've done with super bowl trailers which is ridiculous really? but it's just because we've been pent up yeah like in terms of views for that trailer it, it rivals what they've gotten for super bowl trailers because we're so pent up and there's nothing really new from marvel from that side mm-hmm. yep. going on and so give me it all you know mm-hmm. i want it all uh anthony did you have anything else for future marvel uh well you brought up hideo kojima mm-hmm. and i know it's ridiculous but if you read the comics right now x-men Jonathan Hickman is doing crazy what I would find Hideo Kojima might like mm-hmm. sort of stuff. And it would be cool to see that ridiculous, all that ridiculous stuff that's going on right now brought into and exposed to more people beyond the comics. Okay. Anything else? Or just the- and, no, 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 okay. that's, that's Eric, mm-hmm. what's your future Marvel game? My future is that they, I hope they really, I mean, I know it's going to happen, but you got to double down on Spider-Man stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, boo, we're not here talking about Spider-Man. We're talking about another. <laughs> we're not talking about Spider-Man. We are talking about Marvel games, good sir. All right. I'll and we're it talking slide. about the future. Well, let's go to November I don't like 12th, it, but the like future it. of Marvel games. One Praise Spider-Man November. Miles Morales. Yeah. Um. That game, like, that is going to sell systems, like, because mm. everyone loved Spider-Man. Like, I, I didn't find one person that didn't enjoy 2018 Spider-Man. Um, okay. And the fact that you're taking one of the most popular characters now off the, you know, beloved Spider-Verse stuff, mm. and you're going to introduce Oscar Miles Winnie. Morales, like, this game is going to be huge. And the fact that it's going to be on PS4 as well as PS5, like, this game is going to sell a lot. Yeah. Um, now, gra- I love Miles. Now, granted, <laughs> I grew up with Peter. Peter mm-hmm. is my Spider-Man. But to someone else out there, Miles Morales is their Spider-Man. And, like, I, I cannot wait for this freaking game. And Spider-Man Remastered, I, I need it right now. I'm ready to play that game as well again. Oh, God, but- I can't really it really need to double down on spider-man now don't annualize this stuff um don't like maybe put one out every two years whether it's like in this spider-man universe or something okay. like that mm-hmm. like do a peter game and then two years do a miles game and then two years bring back peter again like yeah. maybe make them a little smaller or something like that but yeah, you really can need to do double that. down on spider-man because it's it's the um, it's the pedigree of superhero games now. Yeah. Like until we get Rocksteady's next game, like this <laughs> is it. Because mm-hmm. we don't know how Gotham Knights is going to be. Like it's I'm super awesome. excited. I'm super excited for Gotham Knights. But like, because <laughs> if you look at it, DC, what they do, what they realize with their video games, focus on Batman, obviously, because that <laughs> works. Like you have the Batman. Mm-hmm. Batman always works for them, yeah. and so whether it's animation, the movies, yeah. they always go to Batman because he makes the money. Yeah, the thing is, like, money. Uh, but the reason why Batman works so well is because there's no superpowers. Because you don't have to get technical. That's the reason why we haven't it's, seen a, a Superman video. Game I don't even think it's the the lack of powers. I think yeah. it literally is just the Batman world and the Batman characters mm-hmm. and everything. That's why people love it so much. Um, it's definitely yeah, some but that's powers, what I'm saying. Yeah. It, it's also like easier on the developers because they don't have to have, oh well, like if S- Superman is literally the most powerful superhero in the DC universe, what could possibly stop him? Exactly. Besides the Kryptonite. How do you how do you make a game like like uh, as engaging as like the Arkhamverse, but with Superman? Which is I why I think uh, which is why I think Suicide Squad was originally a Superman game. But they scrapped it and then just made it into a Suicide Squad game. Because that Metropolis is really well sculpted for something that's only supposed to be a four-player co-op game. Yeah. So, I, yeah, I definitely like think, because even with not just video games, Batman is their most popular character. Like, it's, it's, <laughs> it's easy. 
Like, Spider-Man is the most, dare I say, popular superhero ever. Yeah. Like, so really focus on that. Um, but make sure you maintain the quality. So I think Insomniac is perfect for it. Um, but I think... What else in the future would be good? Uh, do y'all remember that Idos was it Idos Montreal or something that was supposed to make a Guardians of the Galaxy game mm-hmm. or something no, like that? Telltale. Tell, Tell, they Tell, did Tell, make Tell, one, did. but they were supposed to be making yeah. a like another Guardians of the Galaxy game oh. or something yeah. like that. The Telltale, the Guardians Telltale game, that was pretty good. I enjoyed that. Mm-hmm. I'm not a big fan of Telltale games. Like it was wild that they like killed Thanos in the very first episode. I was like, "What? That's crazy!" And they have to live with the rest of that. So I thought that was neat. Um, like I wish Telltale was kind of really still doing doing stuff. I know they're doing Wolf Among Us season two, but like I wish they were still <laughs> churning out stuff because there's a bunch of heroes I think that would do well with a Telltale style thing. Like do Defenders, but with Telltale. I like yeah. have dare, a tear tell, uh, telltale Daredevil game mm-hmm. because I don't know how you do a Daredevil game. I uh, mean, he's boots on the if ground. You're big, cool. really, if you're doing really superficial, he's he's Batman. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in terms I'm just of, gonna say that. So, yeah. so uh, really superficially, that's what it is. He has Kingpin and like all that. So you can mm-hmm. fight the hand. Superficially, it's easy to do. Uh, yeah, you can, hand, like that, that could be the foot soldier, like Kingpin cronies mm-hmm. and foot, uh, the hand soldiers. I was about to say the foot clan. Yeah. <laughs> and the uh, the hand soldiers everywhere, so I yeah. think that could work. Um, oh, but man. I think Marvel really needs to focus on what they're doing well right yeah. now because I know they also they get all their money from the freaking mobile games, yeah. Like, because there there are too many of those. Like I feel as though I get a freaking Marvel mobile game ad every for a different game every twenty seconds. Like oh, we got the connect three game we have <laughs> uh, yeah we have strike force we have contest of champions stuff like that so i mean if you want to keep that if that makes your money that's fine i tried those i don't like those at all yeah, yeah like, those games um, are not very fun it was also a bummer that they got rid of that marvel what was it marvel heroes the one that was like the diablo clone yeah mm-hmm. like that was neat i like that that was cool um but they need to focus on what they're doing well and have faith in the right studios to do it. Because I know Disney focused now on making sure that their IP go to good studios. Um, mm-hmm. So I'm trying to picture who could do a Punisher game. Ooh. Rock steady. But like, do you make the Punisher game first person? Oh no! Wait, why did I say Rexy? I meant um, Rockstar, Rockstar game, Rock, Rockstar Punisher yeah. game. Maybe I think so. Yeah, like the in, crime in family, man hunt, the manhunt yeah. way. Oh man, <laughs> I could see Rockstar doing a killer. Like they have Max Payne. They have the Max yeah, Payne. Engine. Exactly. You just yeah. see Max Payne as uh, yeah. just exactly. skin Max Payne as Punisher. <laughs> Bam, ship Boom. it. Here, Boom. I got something for you guys right here. Stay with me here. All right now. We know that Remedy does mm-hmm. some crazy ass shit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, what? How would a Remedy game look like if they tackled Scarlet Witch or Moon Knight? Oh my God! I was thinking Moon Knight earlier, but I was like, it's too close to Batman for me. But Scarlet <laughs> Witch, Scarlet Witch, do game. the crazy yes. shit. Yeah. Like either that or Doctor Strange. Like have mm-hmm. them take like a freaking mystical, fucking far out thing, and because Control is out there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Control so is one good. of the weirdest games I've ever played. It's so. So good. like, let them take control of the weird Marvel characters. Yeah. Now you bring up Moon Knight. I, I know he said it was too close to Batman. Moon Knight is not just the Batman one. There's yeah. he's a, got a split personality. He's got the other variations of him and he's got the crazy god mm-hmm. giving him all this stuff so if you focus more on the other ones that aren't necessarily batman related and you kind of expose people to that you could do some really weird crazy stuff with that yeah and that'd be pretty cool hmm. you could do some cool stuff with the map as moon knight you know what i mean with that split mm-hmm. personality especially like being able to like see like maybe even hallucinations that are not really there or like what you think is like what other people see but what you see is like totally different that'd be really cool mm-hmm. it would be 
Just have the whole Moon Knight game be the Scarecrow moments from Arkham Asylum. Exactly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> like, it's, yeah, Or like something it. like Dead Space 2. Dead Space 2 does a really good job of like having like these <laughs> cool hallucinations that are not there and everyone around you looking at you going, what are you, what are you looking at, my guy? Spoilers for Dead, Bo- uh, Dead Space 2. <laughs> yeah, you get I mean, a crazy a needle stuck old. in your eye. Oh, come mm-hmm. on. I haven't played it yet. <laughs> the game came out in 2011, Ruben. Whose fault is that? You know, yours. Whose fault is that? Yours? Uh, somebody say it's the developer's fault. It's, <laughs> it's, they didn't just send me a copy. <laughs> yeah, they didn't send me a copy. That's not my fault. Um, um, do you have any more, Eric? I'm sure more will come to me. What, what do you got, Ruben? What do you want? I am mm. so surprised nobody has ever uh, hasn't said this yet. Just hear me out on this. Hear me out. Okay. You know how... Great... Let me take a drink first before. Okay. This may be crazy. Yeah, yeah it's going to be crazy. <laughs> you know how great of a game Final Fantasy VII was? Uh, d- d- remind me, which one is that? Was it the bad one that came out earlier this year? Or... Yeah. There's I some mean, opinions on this one. Sure. Um, but like how great it felt with fighting with uh, the Buster Sword as Cloud. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Psylocke. Okay. I see it. I have a Psylocke. Um, or you could even do it as... Uh, well, I don't really know Psylocke that well. But you could probably do it as Devil May Cry. You know? Or like some Nier Automata shit. Nier Automata oh, would be good. I thought of Nier Automata. Yeah. That like she have her, st- oh, yeah. her sword and all that stuff. Yeah. And I also thought, hey, we see how Gotham Knights is that it's four-person co-op or whatever the fuck they're saying it is mm-hmm. fantastic four mm-hmm. why, not just, why not just have it like that? You that we already have our four person marvel game called marvel's avengers yeah, yeah but, but there's no like fantastic right four now. That, but that's online I, I don't want it to be online uh, i see i see what you mean yeah i would I, love a fantastic four game that'd be great <laughs> but who would do it who would do it yeah um. Honestly, there really is just one person to give it to. Who? Kojima. <laughs> no. <laughs> Disney's no, going to knock on Kojima's doors. We I, want you I, to I do have, every Marvel game going I forward. I would have said Rock Teddy, just because. Yeah. Is it? Wait, no. Sorry, WB Montreal, because they're already doing. I know that's impossible, but they're already doing Gotham Knights. So why not just, you know, just give it to them? What if now, I know we're doing big budget stuff. What if we go smaller? What if we have, like, indie developers make, like, games based off, like, the Runaways and do, like, teen stuff where teens are learning how they got their powers? Like, maybe you can make it even X-Men. Like yeah. you have a bunch of teenagers who figured out they're mutants and they have to do all this shit. Like there's no combat or anything. It's just, it's basically, I don't know, walking simulators or something. Yeah. Where it's a, just a bunch of dialogue trying to figure out what it's like being a teenage mutant now. Okay. That would be uh, neat. That would be neat. I would actually like that. <laughs> um, what about the. Nova game. Do Nova like? I, I'm I'm sick and tired of Nova getting no fucking love. Okay, just <laughs> give me Nova. Give me Nova. Give me death. Yeah. Have, well, I don't have that. Nintendo make a Nova game that's based like Star Fox. I'll Good take work. that. But don't nobody fucking better tell me to do a barrel roll in that game. Oh, they're gonna tell you. They won't roll. be barrel roll, I mean, but it's like Nova. Do, do the better. thing. Do a Nova roll. <laughs> Do a yeah, Nova no, roll. I don't want that at all. <laughs> but, you know, he flies in outer space. The only way to dodge in outer space is to roll right yeah. if you're just a person. <laughs> okay. All right. You, you got me there. Uh, I'll accept the Nova roll. But I do want to do think that, like, Marvel should have a game where they're, it's not on Earth. Uh, yeah. They should show off their other planetary like stuff. Uh, like even Miss yeah. like Captain Marvel would probably be another cool like mm-hmm. game like that where she's traveling uh, to these other different worlds and fighting on those yeah. like planets. And you can even do like little sub worlds 
where they're not even yeah. big open worlds. They're just big, small maps. Yeah. Have Especially since Marvel Guardians has, of the has Galaxy a... times mm-hmm. Mass Effect. Mm. You go to different yeah. planets. <laughs> do a bunch of different shit everywhere. You have the mm-hmm. dialogue Pe- options because, you know, you have all these Peter Quill characters. Yeah. Trying to bang everyone. <laughs> so, yeah. Would Peter Quill be the main character? Peter Quill would be the main character because he's like, the best you... Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, I can see you romancing all the other Guardians. That'd be kind of weird if it's yeah. Rocket, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have, mean, I have can... romance trees, please. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, Peter Quill, like, the dialogue. But like, hopefully, right. kind of like, maybe talk to James Gunn and try to get some of that like same dialogue. James in with Gunn the game. is in the game. No, just like have him <laughs> have him work like with them, or something like that, <laughs> to where to be like, how can we make this script for this game fit Guardians? Because Guardians are a household name now, which is fucking crazy. Yes, it is. Never so thought that would be a thing. Work. But um. Yeah, like I am Groot is just as famous. I mean, not just as famous as the Force be with you, but like it's up there. Like people, when you say I am Groot, people are gonna know what that means. What's more popular, uh, Baby Yoda or I am Groot, in terms of like what you think is more recognizable? Well, Disney Plus is stuck in certain regions where it can't go there because Mm -hmm. license agreements have to expire and all that stuff. So, unless you pirate it. Uh, it you may not know it, and yeah, I know the internet, but like little kids and all that trying to not mm-hmm. have those memories as they do with the Marvel movies because they just go to the theater. So I don't know. Plus, if, there's like the the, oh, sorry, the cartoons for Guard. Yeah. It's fine. The the Guardians cartoon is also a thing. We may not watch it, but a lot of little kids watch it. Mm-hmm. So my dad watches it. <laughs> <laughs> I I've heard good things about the Guardians cartoon. I'll have to watch it. Luckily, Disney Plus pretty much has everything I could want for in terms of Marvel cartoons. It has the best Marvel cartoon called Avengers Earth Mightiest Heroes. I've heard this. I've heard this is a really good cartoon. Somebody said it looks it might look janked on the outside, but it looks it's its story is amazing. It, it's I've fantastic. Heard Spider-Man cartoon is pretty good. Which Spider-Man cartoon? Well, the last two that they did where uh, So Venom. Ultimate Spider-Man was I thought it was good. I thought it was really good. I don't like Spider-Man in like a team or something like that when mm-hmm. he's fighting with Nova, White Tiger, and uh, Power Man, I don't really like that much. I want Peter by himself, but it was cool. Like I enjoyed like the Emperor's New Groove, like fourth wall breaking stuff. Um, mm-hmm. The 2017 Spider Man show they did, I was don't that spectacular. I think spectacular was... Spider Man is fantastic. That is the okay. best Spider Man cartoon. I'm um, watching that now. I'm I'm halfway through. But, like, the one they did, I think it's just called Marvel Spider-Man, because, like, they ended Ultimate Spider-Man oh, and they, like, yeah, rebooted yeah. everything. I don't yeah. know if I particularly like it. They got the guy who voices um, Prompto and Akechi to do Peter. Um, mm-hmm. And it, they kind of really focus on the, hey, guess what? Peter Parker's a nerd. <laughs> so, like, on the nose, like, Peter, what's the square root of this? Um... Hi, I'm Peter Parker. The square root of that is like, okay, calm down. Easy yeah. there. Um, but no, Spider-Man cartoons are in a good place right now. So to speak. Yeah. I tell you what, boys. I'm reading that Marvel Ultimate line. Thanks to Marvel Unlimited. I didn't know that was a thing until like two months ago. And it's the greatest yeah. thing ever. I was like, oh man, I want to read all these comics, but I don't want to buy them all. Well, they're on your phone, yeah. Eric. Or your desktop. And let me tell you, I'm really liking Ultimate X-Men. I don't really like X-Men that much. Especially yeah. Cyclops. He's a dick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I really like Ultimate Cyclops. He's great. Yeah, the Ultimate, Except Ultimate really Nightcrawler. Good. He's a bigot. I don't like him. But yeah. yeah. Back to the point, Ruben. I think Marvel's in a really good place right now. <laughs> yeah. With yeah. their games. Mm-hmm. They just uh-huh. really need to focus on work. what works well. Get, like Sony does with its developers, like have a little faith in them, like let them make something really cool. I think mm-hmm. Marvel really needs to do that. I think they need to give cool ideas to developers, see what they can do, or not even give them that. Just have developers come to them with an idea, like, hey, this is what I really want to do with a um, Iron Fist game. Oh, yeah. Iron Fist so. would be cool. That's just 
Daredevil, though, you know? I mean, well, no, it could I, be could get, more like a. This could get really crazy. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. All right. And there better be a button in the game that I press, and he goes, "My name is Danny Rand, the <laughs> name is Danny Rand. Oh, protector of Kung no. Lun, sworn enemy of the hand." <laughs> we get it, the Danny. Best, <laughs> the best part about that show is when people ask him, "What does he want?" He has no idea. It's like, why am I watching this show? Yeah. Stop giving people your your name. You know, like the whole point of being a superhero is that you have a secret identity, and it doesn't. Not help. the Marvel universe. Go tell that to Tony Stark. Yeah. <laughs> okay. and Captain America he even gave everybody dead. his phone number uh-huh. he did he did that, I saw that and I called it and it was really disappointing that it wasn't <laughs> uh, Robert Downey Jr but that's okay well yeah that makes sense yeah. though it's Marvel Comics they don't got that much money yeah. <laughs> that'd be really cool though. Was, just quality yeah. answers yeah do y'all remember <laughs> the um, when they tried to do like every phase one movie had like their own movie tie in game mm-hmm. like they had yeah. a movie tie in game for Thor Captain America the Hulk Mm-hmm. I, the I Hulk was pretty good. <laughs> Ultimate Destruction Remastered. Yes. Oh yes. Yeah. But I think that pro- I think the studio who did Prototype in that game are is gone, mm. if I'm not yeah. mistaken. I believe so. so. I'm surprised Ooh. nobody said Deadpool yet, because Dead- the Deadpool well, game was, Deadpool. I think, great. It got Isn't Ryan Reynolds trying to. It was funny. It wasn't that fun to play, but it was funny. Yeah. I thought somebody was trying to redo the, re- make it. Oh, it was um, crap. Uh, the guy who voiced Nathan Drake. Nolan North. Nolan North. Yeah, that Nolan actually North. is one of my least favorite Nolan North things. I really don't like his Deadpool. Yeah, I don't like it either. Um, but I, that game was like super repetitive. Like it was cool. Like bring Mister yeah. bring Mister Sinister in. Like it's we short, really which seemed, which is great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. I agree. Final question for today. Will Xbox ever get an exclusive Marvel game? Nope. Now, as long as Sony has Spider-Man. Wait, as long as Sony has Spider-Man, Xbox yeah. will never get an exclusive Marvel game? Because Sony will go, you're not, you're not going to peace out to our competitors if you want Spider-Man. That's what I'm saying. Like, will, uh, will your Wolverine game only come to Xbox? Nope. Nope. No? No? Nope. I don't know if you know this or not, but they just spent seven point five billion dollars on Bethesda. <laughs> I mean, they had, they got the money. Oh, they, they spent did. by <laughs> Disney. Say screw no, but What I'm saying is they have the money to to splurge yeah. on an exclusive game if they uh, want. It. It's just weird though because I don't see anything Microsoft wise that like is synonymous with a Marvel hero. Mm-hmm. Like Spider Man, at least had like the Sony thing with the movies. Yeah, yeah. Well, like Spider Man is literally partially owned by Sony. There's nothing yeah. anyone can do about that. So it's in a different spot. But I thought that was that, that's not the video games. No. Well, no, the character, yeah, the character itself yeah. is partially owned. The character owned, itself, so, I th- think the thing is they have the movie rights and they have the they have TV, TV rights, rights for c- merchandising but, too. Only a specific. So they, well, yeah, Anthony, didn't you, they, you said they, this before. Sorry. Yeah. Oh. They sold the merchandising rights back oh, to okay. Disney, uh, but uh, they do have the the TV show rights, but it's for live action TV shows and things that are over an hour, because there's like some contracts with Marvel and all that stuff. If it's a TV show below whatever arbitrary number they picked, it's a Marvel animated show. If it goes above that, it's a Sony show. So they're trying to do like Silk. Right now, they're trying to do stuff like that, live action, and so. It's it's harder with Spider-Man stuff. I know Nintendo was able to pull one off with Ultra Lights three. Uh, They're crazy. I I don't know how that performed for Marvel in terms of if they want to try and do something like that again. Spider-Man obviously performed, uh, but with the way Xbox is right now in terms of basically being a publisher and technically having exclusives, but you could play them on PC, so it really doesn't matter. There may not be much of a reason for Xbox to try and get. The exclusive if marvel could just give someone else a game and they just we'll publish it on pc like avengers hopefully it'll go better yeah and would disney really be okay with putting their games on game pass that's the other question that that too that too i love me some disney but they do love their money well, they do so love their I money i don't see them you know? um but yeah i just i don't see any marvel hero like they could be synonymous with xbox Anybody that's green, 
Like the Martian the Hulk, man. The Hulk. Did you just say the Martian man the hunter? Martian man. <laughs> like the Martian man hunter. Master Chief and the Hulk crossover oh, game. Oh, there you go. There you go. How crazy would it be if uh, Halo Infinite, he wakes up uh, on a crazy <laughs> planet and somebody brings him to an arena and it's like a it's Hulk. Planet Hulk. It's Planet Hulk. Hulk. Hulk would wipe the floor goes, with Master Chief. You hear Master Chief say, Yes! 343, I, Jump Shark. We yeah. can't do Halo, but we can do Marvel. Yeah, it'd be great. <laughs> or even uh, that a Doom Slayer in like Marvel type yeah. thing. Doom Slayer goes, goes to the hell of Marvel Universe and fights. Oh my God, it joins up with Ghost Rider. Oh my God, uh-huh. it's happening, oh everyone. <laughs> fights Dormammu himself. Oh my God. Okay, <laughs> just we're gonna, let's just keep Slayer. going, boys. We, we, got, we got gold here. Now, I'm going to leave you with one question and well it's not really a question it's more of a statement what if we know dr doom uh dr doom dr (laughs) strange no no dr strange is Mm -hmm. doing a multiverse movie Mm -hmm. what if they bring nicholas cage back as ghost rider oh my god that would be great i would i would buy a ticket i'd buy two tickets to you how insane would that be I'm telling you, man, when Toby shows up in this damn movie, I'm going to lose my fucking shit. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. There's no way they, they pass this opportunity. My hopes up, all right? I'm telling you, dude, Sam Raimi is freaking doing Doctor Strange. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. You think he's going to pop up in Doctor Strange, or you think he's going to pop I up? I think he's going to pop up in the Spider-Man movie. Yeah. I, I'm telling I, you, man, like, it's Sony. Mm-hmm. Toby Maguire really hasn't done much stuff since. All they got to do is like, hey. You've been doing a lot of plays, you asshole. So. Toby, well, we will give you like money, $2 million. Help. Just come on set for a few days. Mm-hmm. For a few hours, at least. Like, okay. just do this. Like, because I know he's still got to love the Spider-Man character. Like, he is going to be famous for the rest of his life. No matter yeah. what he does. Because of the Spider-Man movies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Again, my famous line is that he... You have Tom Holland dressed up in the spider suit. He takes off the mask and he sees Toby and he just says, Uncle Ben? Uncle Ben? You're going to make Uncle Ben be Toby Maguire in this? Like the CW uh, Flash show? No, I'm Flash saying... His dad? Uh-huh. I'm saying that on the MCU universe, yeah. Toby Maguire was Uncle Ben. That would be awesome. I see How- it crazy would it be it would be a weird like flash moment where like yeah exactly barry's dad is really just jay garrick from another universe i i need him to be spider-man i can't have him be uncle ben you're not listening to what i'm saying saying. you have uh uh, you know like a doctor strange circle pop out and yeah. he's in <laughs> the Doctor Strange. Strange. He's, he's still Spider-Man. He's, he's still Spider-Man. Still Spider-Man. He takes Peter. off the mask. He's Peter Parker. Oh, he's Peter I, Parker. Get what, I get what there you're saying. Go. I got it. There but Toby go. McGuire also played ben, uh, Uncle Ben. In gotcha. MCU. He's just a younger, younger Uncle Ben in that yeah. universe. Exactly. That'd be sick. That'd be sick. That, I mean, they brought us. They gave us JJ. So <laughs> anything can happen, man. Oh, Okay. Have Norman, oh my god, have Norman Osborn like lead the Sinister Six, get Willem Dafoe back. Yes! Yeah. Uh, have you guys now. seen the uh, deep fake for Spider Man PS4? Oh, I saw it. I saw where it. They took all, oh, it's so great. So good. Well, gentlemen. Uh, thank before you. I, can I ask one question? What is everyone's yeah, favorite Marvel game? Oh, good question. It's got to be Spider Man PS4, honestly. Yeah. It's the best yeah. thing they've put out. It the, used to be Spider-Man, like two. the Web of Shadows, the oh, one where they had all the Web of Shadows love up at yeah. this time. I also love Web of Shadows. I've Web never heard anyone enjoy Web of Shadows besides me. <laughs> Web of Shadows it. is a great game. Web of Shadows is really good. Like it had a bunch of like other morality sp- choices, which were great. Mm-hmm. Which and one was the one that had the other Spider-Man? Uh, Shattered, was, Shattered Dimensions. Dimensions. Shattered Dimensions oh, yeah. is the second best Spider-Man game. Yeah. I love I that. Game that. So Spider-Man much. Two was a really good Spider-Man. Game. Yeah, that's the they third have, best. Spider-Man's Spider-Man got game. some good hitters. <laughs> he usually does. Okay. Ultimate Spider-Man also deserves love too. That was a great. Yeah. I love that game. The Ultimate Spider-Man's game. Game. amazing. Yeah. Ultimate Spider-Man was pretty good. The I remember like racing so the Human Torch. Mm-hmm. That was that was so much fun. The ah. comic book like cut ins and yeah. stuff like mm-hmm. that. I think so we're great. missing the best Spider Man game N sixty four Spider Man. There was an oh the oh you mean the PlayStation <laughs> One Spider Man game. 
Yeah, I don't I'll know, pull I'd it out try. right now. I got it in my closet right now. I'll go grab it. I also got it in my closet. Welcome, true believer. I remember Welcome hearing that every time and I'll just put it in uh, a safe place. <laughs> did anyone here like the Spider Man, like the 2002 movie tie in game? Because I did. Even oh, if it one? was crazy oh, that he was that web swinging into the sky. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Yeah, I, yeah, that's what I was talking about. Spider -Man. Was that Spider Man originally? Or that was, was Spider Man. Oh. I thought you were talking about Spider Man 2, the movie, the game. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. Wasn't yeah, I'm that talking about Spider Man 2002. The first, okay. like, okay. first okay. Spider Man movie first tie in game. game. Okay. I right. like that one a lot. That one was fun. Like, you could give yourself, like, yeah. web. Uh, uh, go <laughs> yeah, web this, yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. So, yeah. Did you bring it up, Frank? Hello, friends. Look at the original copy from. When I, was God, I, rem I remember getting that for my fuck. How old was I? Ninth birthday. Oh man, is that really cool? Like black, black. God, I, re I remember the end oh, scene great. where it was what? What was it? Was it Captain America, Daredevil, Punisher, and Venom yeah. playing cards? Uh -huh. <laughs> this game was amazing. Honestly. Yep. God, I love that game Pretty so good. much. So I think we all in agreement that 2018 Spider-Man is the best Marvel game. Oh, yeah. yeah, easy. Pretty There's much. There's just it. too much love in that game. There's too much love. Hmm. None of the puddles, though. None of the puddles. It's PS5. It's coming. Yeah, those ray trace puddles. puddles. Those we'll ray see, trace we'll puddles. We shall see. Well, um, I think that we're going to wrap it up for this episode, guys. Thank you very much for coming on and talking to me about, well, talking about um, Marvel games and Avengers. Best 7 out of 10 game that we're going to have this year. Mm -hmm. Um,. Frank, I hope to see you again yeah. on the podcast sometime soon. Mm -hmm. Hopefully something DC related, because as you can see, there's... Uh, oh, we're going to do DC. <laughs> yeah, there's a ton of DC stuff behind me. Yes, we will have a DC related... Uh, about how Batman Rise of Sun Shoe is one of the best Batman games? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I remember Batman that Rise of what? Sun Shoe? Never played it. Oh, my God, uh, 2002 GameCube. Mm -hmm. PS2. It. Was it on PS2? Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. It was an original villain and everything. Yeah. They made it for the game. It was great. Oh. And then Batman Forever for the Sega Genesis. I love that game so much. I had Batman and Robin because I was a kid. I had no idea. My parents like, here, Batman. Oh, God, that game. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. I had no what idea what was going on. Terrible game. It is a terrible game. That's the Mortal Kombat one, right? Like where they have like, no, the this side is thing. Like, this was is that like open... the, that was like the first three D Batman yeah, game, right? Yeah, three D oh. open world. Get at the Batmobile. Mm. It was weird as shit. They didn't know what they were doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay then. Mm -hmm. um, thank Thanks you for ending this Marvel show with DC. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, we should go DC everywhere. It's okay. Yeah. Um, thank you again, gentlemen. Um, hopefully, we see each other again soon. Oh, for sure. Uh, All for right. Sure. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks so, for having thank us, man. Thank you for being on. Have a good night, guys. Take care. Bye.